Make sure to send you the end. Uh, there is a common mistake people make when replacing an aux sensor. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat 500, guys. Generation from year 2008 to year 2022. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the knock sensor is located. Stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us and our channel, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos uh, if you guys uh, uh, need to buy any parts tools knock sensor you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and su supplies from guys and we usually get a really really good deal so this specifically is the fiat Abarth 1.4 turbo engine but even if you have a different one uh, the location of the knock sensor will be very similar guys okay you just may differ on two places so make sure to stand till the end what is the knock sensor for uh, it's usually installed on the engine block or the cylinder head towards close to the cylinder head and it detects uh, for premature early detonations in the engines uh, so practically it can tell the engine computer if uh, uh, it needs to spray fuel a little bit later or if it needs to adjust the variable timing and all that stuff so you have nice clean running engine because not all gasoline is the same one uh, gasoline will have certain rating another gasoline will have certain and rating as a result uh, practically okay one will explode a little bit earlier it will be more unstable than another one so that's what the knock sensor is for it's super important for the normal operation of the engine where it's located in case you need to replace it let's uh, explain now you need to come underneath guys here you have engine cover okay that cover right there we removed ours if you want to see where uh, how to remove engine cover we'll have the video on the channel that will teach you guys okay how to do that so let me show you okay what do we have uh, specifically okay specifically here now this is the back side of the engine right check it out now let me let me try to focus here quick okay this is guys okay i'm going to zoom out this is the engine starter this is the oil pan this is the cv axle and if i go up right on top guys right there okay let me see if i can show you that device right here that's your knock sensor next to the starter you can see right there on the engine board guys not very complicated to get to it has only one ball that you need to remove and it has one wiring harness if you have problems with the knock sensor always inspect to make sure that the wire is not unpoked or broken sometimes it can get in the cv axle and it can break in other cases it's not pushed all the way in or when the knock sensor was installed maybe it wasn't cleaned underneath and if it's not clean it will not contact correctly with the engine block and that will cause okay a code sometimes as well so that's where it's located in case you need to replace it uh, uh, now if you have a different engine it's either there or it's actually guys on the engine block or the uh, bottom of the cylinder head but it will be on the front side of the engine depending on which uh, uh, which side is the exhaust? Usually it's on the opposite size, uh, side of the engine exhaust. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.